The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the offices of Duke & Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first chart we're looking at, of course, is our usual chart of the DAX. You'll see that we gapped up today in the DAX. We're right up near the 61% retracement of the last high. If we switch over quickly and go look at the FTSE, which is uh, the larger of the um, – uh, well, excuse me, the DAX is much bigger as far as volume. Uh, but anyway, if you'll notice here that we're we're really at a 382 retracement here in the DAX on a four-hour chart since September 5th bottom. So it's been a pretty good bottom, but, uh, you know, hasn't gone crazy to the upside, much like we have here in our markets. Now, I've had several questions about some of the things that uh, we've been watching, of course, and one of them has been the um, the British pound and Brexit. And I wanted to bring this up, and then we'll switch over to the Hang Seng. Yes, I will be happy to take care of the IWM uh, just a little bit later. Uh, hold on here just a second. Uh, there's the British pound. You'll see we went right up to that 133 level yesterday. We're now trading uh, well over one and a half handles down uh, from that level. And, and she's going to be talking sometime this morning. Uh, since the market, one of the rules that um, uh, Amos Hossetter from Commodity Corporation used to have on his desk is when the market gives you something really fast, uh, don't be too quick to take it. It probably means it wants to give you some more. So uh, the way that it's coming out of here off of that 78% retracement is highly suggestive that you could get a move all the way down, uh, two handles down from here. So we'll keep an eye on that one, but that's the way I would do it. I put the stop at uh, at the top of that high, brow, high bar, which would be up about 100 pips, so you'd lock yourself in to some profit, but you, you certainly want to try to uh, maximize it given the way that it started. Now, whatever she says, of course, is going to be interesting, but unfortunately, we don't know what that's going to be. So the only thing we can do is sort of protect ourselves. That's really, you know, the bottom line uh, of what we're trying to do as we look at this. Now, I did want to bring, uh, we had a question from our good friend, Mr. Z, asked about the Hang Seng. That was one of the reasons why we thought there could be a pretty good rally in the stocks this week, but I didn't think it was going to be that much. Anyway, you'll notice that we had that really nice three drive to a bottom pattern. Folks, that's exactly like the coffee bottom. It's exactly like the sugar bottom. It's exactly like the corn bottom. You know, coffee is up five handles, folks, uh, since Monday. You know that that's a that's a lot of money in coffee if you if you bought it. Now you'll notice here in the uh, the Hang Seng we've completed a small A B C D pattern here from the low on September the 13th, and we're right at a 78% um, retracement. We actually hit 28,000 in the um, Hang Seng, and we were trading at 26.5 uh, earlier in the week. So that's a that's a 1,500 point move in the Hang Seng, which uh, it's a very, very powerful move. Now, if you go back to last February, you'll see that it had a really strong rally there. And then, of course, it came and went backwards. So what we'd be looking at now with this small ABCD here in Hang Seng would be watch the retracement. Because usually when the market's up four or five days in a row like that, you, you don't get a chance to uh, move it very much. Now, let's take a quick look at the IWM. I just... Uh, wanted to get this up here for you to let you see where it's at. Um, unfortunately, Tucker, I don't have the update. I'll have to get that at the break. But we are trading at, at about that 170 level, I believe, uh, in the IWM. I'll, I'll post this after the, the break. But uh, we have not taken out that high at 172, even though we went higher in all the other indices. indices we've not really done that. We've made new highs in the Dow Jones. And, uh, yeah, it's working really good, Marshall. Thank you. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's quite happy. Anyway, let's uh, – anyway, keep an eye on that because that's the one – there you go. There you go. Is it 170, 163? Okay, that's about right. So if it gets above, uh, you know, 173, I would probably think this would be, you know, a breakout 
But you know, we we this is a Friday in an up week, uh, and uh, with option uh, triple witching hour and stuff, it's going to be pretty pretty active. I think all over the map today. So you know, pay attention to it. I do think, uh, if anything, I just wanted to show the long term. I'm going to show you a couple long term charts that I'll be working on over the weekend. This is the uh, daily going back to February. You notice that the Dow Jones did go up and make a new high. Uh, we closed at 26,636. Looks like we're going to be a little bit higher again today. So that's the main thing. But if we take a look at this long-term monthly chart uh, here in the uh, Dow Jones, you're going to be seeing that, um, you know, we are possibility of, of a double top in here and whether that'll be the case or not, we don't know. But you want to pay attention to that because we're up into some pretty interesting areas with all of these uh, patterns coming through uh, the tunnel as they're doing right now. Now, um, <laughs> folks, I can't tell you how high this stuff is going to go. No, it does not look anything like 1987, Maria. It really doesn't. Um, you know, it's had a pretty good run, but 1987 uh, was making a new high all by itself. And in 1987, on August the 25th of that year, that was harmonic convergence. That's when we had five planets, all in conjunction, all in the sign of Leo. I remember it very vividly because I was a guest down at FNN Financial News Network in Los Angeles. Uh, I, I was there twice a week for two weeks talking about that potential high coming in. And, and that's when I met Arch Crawford and Bill Griffith and Ron Insana and, of course, Sue Herrera. And I went back a long ways. But um, so I was a guest down there and I kept talking about that top. And when that top came in, boy, I sold a lot of books, you know, right after that. But uh, we'll see, you know, what's going to happen this time. This is not the same type of thing. You know, those, those planets are not anywhere near there uh, right now. Uh, the only thing we had yesterday that was interesting is we had a Venus uh, and, uh, excuse me, Mercury was uh, conjunct the sun, which is Combus, which is usually a, a short-term trading high. Uh, but that only usually works for five to ten days. This market for the Dow Jones has gone higher. S&P has gone higher. Uh, Russell hasn't, NASDAQ hasn't, but two of the four have gone higher. So uh, if that New York Stock Exchange Index makes new high, then me and Walter the borough should be headed out to the old plantation and uh, start to pick cotton here in Tucson, Arizona. Believe it or not, folks, uh, Tucson, Arizona has a lot of cotton. And the fact the people that worked on Pima Cotton, uh, the Kai family, um, they uh, have a huge cotton ranch just south of John Wayne's uh, Rooster Cogburn Ranch. So it's a, it's a big cotton area. Now, uh, yesterday we talked about the importance of that number in the gold at, um, at 316. If you'll put this up here, you'll notice last night we got to uh, 1215.80. There was a beautiful ABCD pattern over the last two days lined up right at that point, and the market broke all the way down to the $1,200 level. Uh, that's what I saw it last anyway. So I think that's a, probably going to be a buying opportunity would be my guess, but that's what it's doing on a short-term basis. But that's a, that's a pretty big move in gold if you're looking at it on the half-hour chart. Let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Uh, The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Monday, September 24th, TFNN is launching a new updated version of our website. You can still visit us at the same tfnn.com URL, and starting Monday, you'll be able to experience the new and improved TFNN website. If you're a current subscriber, don't worry, your subscription will be automatically transferred. The new tfnn.com will allow much easier access to all your account and subscription information. Get ready for the new tfnn.com, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to take a look at Apple. As you can see here, we went down to that bottom on the big ABCD pattern. Uh, the problem is for Apple is it hasn't rallied very much. We should be trading up around the 223, 224 level, which be the 61% retracement. So this is a weaker than market stock right now. So uh, I would assume that it probably has uh, at the maximum maybe 223 on the upside. And then we'll have to wait and see, you know, what happens. Now, the other one that we were watching is uh, this can, uh, the marijuana stock, which is TLRY. And if you'll notice here, uh, it went right up to the exact 61% retracement. It went a dollar higher at, uh, you know, that uh, area 248. And uh, now it says that we're heading down, it looks like, to about $100 a share. We broke $100, almost $100 yesterday coming off of that. 61% retracement and you know maybe these numbers work some of the time they don't work all the time but when they work they sure do look pretty that's for sure but you know they don't always work that's the bottom line let's take a quick look at what's really happening now in some of these market that's uh, got everybody's interest and that's where we were yesterday in the US dollar if you remember we were looking for the market to come down to that 9330 uh, and I believe the low yesterday was at 93.23. We're trading at about 94 and change right now. That was equivalent to 117.80 in the euro, 133 in the pound, 172.80 in the uh, uh, Australian dollar. So all of that tells us that there's something really important about this ABCD pattern here in this U.S. dollar index. Now, I have no idea whether it means anything about this uh, as far as it's related to uh, uh, the tariffs or any of that stuff, but nobody else does either. That's the whole key, you know, to what, um, to what we're looking at. So let's kind of, you know, keep that in mind that uh, that's what we're watching, um, at least from some of these levels that we're that we're trying to see this morning. Remember, they're all probability-based, folks. They're not based on certainty. They're all based on probability. That is the key thing to keep in mind. You remember we another reason besides the Hang Seng that we thought that these Asian markets were going to look pretty good is if you look at this, uh, <laughs> Terry, I've got the answer to how long uh, Theresa May 
is probably going to last, and it's probably going to be as long as uh, she can open her mouth because uh, she's she's held them together. You know, that's basically it. You know, who knows? I, I don't know. Their stock market's going up, but not like ours. You'll notice on this emerging market, we had a beautiful um, – uh, daily three drive to a bottom right at a 61% retracement. We've had a really strong rally uh, so far this week. Nothing like what we had in the um, um, the Hang Seng, but it's pretty big. So we'll see what. Uh, well, you know, there. You know, that's true. The problem is, you know, when you start thinking about that stuff, folks, that's what gets really confusing when you start thinking about the fundamentals. When I start really getting interested in technical analysis way back in the 60s. <laughs> well, anyway, Dr. Noblin had a, uh, he had a parrot, and uh, he would get the Wall Street Journal from one of the other professors in the building there in the business department in Indiana, and he, he always said that the best use of the Wall Street Journal was uh, the bottom of his parrot's cage. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what's uh, see what's going to look on. By the way, if you want to buy the euro, uh, if the euro gets above 118, uh, it's going to go a whole lot higher. That's uh, that's my opinion. I think that's I think that's eventually where it's going to go. But uh, you know, we hit some really strong resistance, uh, and we're coming in. As, let's pull this up here. This is what I was looking at for Friday. You'll notice that uh, we went up. Just get this one second here. Uh-oh, can't get this working. Just a minute. There we go. We got up to that 127 level. you notice that was at 117.80. We're now trading down around 117.30 or something like that right now. So I would su suspect we'd get some pretty good support around 117.25 in the euro. That'll be interesting to see if that holds up. But um We'll have to wait and see if that's going to happen. Someone's asked a question uh, about the NASDAQ. I'll put the 60-minute up on the NASDAQ because we went a little bit higher uh, yesterday. Uh, we went above the 78% um, level by just a little bit. Uh, it still hasn't made new highs. Uh, neither has the Russell, but, you know, they're still close. They could very easily do it given the strength that we had yesterday. The strength that we had yesterday, folks, was all – most of it has been due to Goldman Sachs and the banking index, J.P. Morgan, and you know some technicals. Uh, but th that's the main. That's what's been pulling. And was very oversold in that banking index. You know, went right down to a 61% retracement on the daily chart. Stayed there for three days. Goldman Sachs had been down 13 days in a row. You talk about being oversold. So we'll see. If you had to ask me a question about the most significant thing that happened this week, it would not be the fact that the Dow Jones has made new highs and the new, you know, some of the other indices have made new highs. It would be the fact that this one is making new lows, and that is the Treasury bond market. We've been waiting, uh, not been waiting, we've been very bearish this for a long time. We went below that 140 level. I think we're trading right near there right now. Uh, we're very, and this is a weekly, so we're four weeks down. And, uh, you know, whether we get a rally off of this or not, I don't know, but watch it because <clears throat> you'll, uh, you'll see that this thing has a very negative, you know, bias to the downside, i.e. higher interest rates. We saw this all across the board yesterday. I posted all these. I mean, I'm just going to do a couple of them again just to remind you what interest rates are really doing, you know, across the board. This is Canada. We'll do another one here. We'll take a look at uh, the United Kingdom, and then you'll see that one. I'm not going to do any more than this because they all look alike. I, po I posted all six of the major cross rates yesterday. They all look exactly alike. Interest rates are going to go higher, and that means lower prices in bonds and notes. Um, I remember Brexit June two, uh, two years ago. I happened to be in London. Sarah and I, we were invited by one of our dear friends and students. Uh, each year he sends us to, to London for uh, a week to 10 days for a little vacation, R&R, &R, and visit with him and stuff. And, and he was saying that it was going to Brexit was going to be uh, a, a thing. And it was 9 to 1 was the odds that it, that it would not happen. And I, you know, I don't, don't do any betting, but boy, nine to one on something like that, that would be, uh, that would be pretty good. The best to bet of all was in uh, March of 2016, you could have bet on DJT, believe it or not, at 30 to one. And he won it. So anyway, that's it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on here to a couple other things here that we want to be watching. Uh, longer term, let's just longer term here. 
here, I want to just show you something. This is from the LA Wave Theorist, and I really feel very strongly about the gold and silver on a longer term basis. You notice that um, we have a tremendous amount of bearishness across the silver market. Uh, the commitment of traders is uh, extremely negative. In other words, they're very, very short. We've had a 40 cent rally, a 45 cent rally off of the top excuse me, off of the bottom, and now we'll be looking to see if it's going to be um, much of a rally. We should have really strong support around 14.10 in the silver and really strong support around 11.87 in the gold. That's what I'd really love to see because that would be a 61% pullback and a big ABCD pattern. You've got to watch that one very, very closely, folks. That's Mother God and Country. You know, Sister Mary Perpetual at the Orphanage, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com okay folks just made another new high in the s p and the dow jones and uh, but the thing we want to look at here is this uh pattern that we're seeing this butterfly pattern that we're seeing in the uh, japanese yen it's also uh, been working uh, relatively well, so uh, keep an eye on that one. It looks very interesting. The Australian dollar has sold off nicely. The British pound has sold off nicely. The euro has sold off nicely, and we're looking to see what the next support 
moves in that session. Yes, Jason, that coffee was lucky. Sometimes you have your choice between lucky and smart. Always pick lucky. And um, anyway, that's uh, it's actually went above 100, which was uh, hard to believe because we were trading at 95 on Monday. And it was just a three drive to a bottom pattern, much like we've seen in others. Now, remember, the corn, we were looking for the corn to get down to the uh, 342 level in the Christmas corn. We only got to 343 and three quarters, and then it took off and rallied, you know, 13 cents. You, you, if you, you know, you missed that one. Now, the, the soybeans worked great. The soybean oil is working really nicely. So any of those that you did, if you did do them, you know, uh, put your stops in and let them rip. So we'll, we'll see see what happens with uh, some of these things as we're doing. We want to spend just a second here to take a look at the silver chart. We'll bring it up here so you can see it. Uh, it just about made the ABCD pattern. It made the 1.27 expansion exactly at uh, 1446. We've now broken 25 cents. There should be some pretty strong support, as I mentioned, right around that 1410 level. And uh, that would be the one I'd be watching. But the key, in my opinion, given the fact that we've broken $20 today uh, in the gold market, it looks like uh, this is a pretty significant high coming in here. And we want to watch this price coming in next week at 1180 uh, 7, 11.83, that's the big 61% on the gold from our bottom that we made a month or so ago. This has been a really good trading market up and down, you know, during those times. So you want to be able to, you know, to try to line it up so that it looks, uh, you know, relatively interesting. That's the, the whole key, you know, to uh, see. And you don't know how far these markets are going to go down, folks. I mean, you, let's just last night, I just happened to to send this out, you know, to the folks that uh, belong to 24/7, and we were looking for that top to come in there at the 12:16 level, and uh, you notice it, it broke $10 right there, but you don't know that it's going to break all the way down. We're trading below 11.97 now. We're down $20 from the high, you know, so that's not a bad because you have a $3 risk, and if you've made uh, the 20 bucks, that's a that's a pretty significant swing. You know, given the fact that uh, what's happening, we're going to see the one thing that I'm absolutely 100 percent sure of is that. Well, let's let's rephrase that, Billy Ray. Uh, the one thing that I think is going to happen is we're going to see some really increased volatility in a whole lot of things. We need to pay very close attention to the commodity markets, folks, because. It looks very uh, suspicious with corn, wheat, and beans with these big rallies that we've had here is they might have put in a pretty good bottom coming into harvest because we're in harvest time now, and there should be a lot of harvest pressure. And if that harvest pressure has been abated uh, by the tariffs or whatever, you could get one heck of a rally out of here. So we've got our uh, game plan and our game hats on with that, so we'll see you know, what's going to happen with it. So pay attention to the grains. Uh, it looks like we had a shot. The the the, um, the grain, uh, meats, uh, we had a tremendous move in cattle this week. We got up to that. We've talked about it several times in the uh, Christmas cattle. Uh, well, actually, October. Uh, Christmas is the one that we're in. Is We got up to this 118 level. This is where we've been here for four days. And uh, this is where you want to, you know, take your profits and wait to see what the next swing is going to be. But that's been a big move in cattle. And we know we know a lot or we, we owe a lot to our good friend, Mr. Z in the den, because he's had to handle on hogs and cattle, uh, you know, quite a bit, along with our good friend, Rich Anderson from Anderson Capital Management. So all of those, you know, adds up to pay attention. This could move. And that's what we're trying to do is to show sometimes these patterns work. Sometimes they don't, and when they do, it looks good, and when they don't, you move on and try to find a new frog out there in the old pond of trades. Let's take a look here at the crude oil market because we have a really interesting pattern in crude. This is the four-hour chart. You'll notice that bottom that we had down there with all of those swings coming together around that 65 level. The low happened to be 64.43, and from that level, we rallied uh, almost, uh, well, not quite 10% uh, up, well, pretty close, about 8% all the way up to the uh, 71, uh, 55 level. You'll notice that was a 61% retracement from the high in July. Uh, we actually tested it three times. We tested it in early September. We tested it again on September the 12th, and we had tested it again just two days ago. And we've only backed off about a dollar a barrel from that level, a little over a dollar a barrel, but that means that that 
number there at that 71.55. If we get above that, then you're going to be uh, you're going to be looking at something really, uh, really, really dramatic. Someone's asking the question about the gold and silver, folks. You know, I'm very I'm very bullish gold and silver for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but watch this because when you get a break of twenty dollars like this, remember the harmonic number in the gold is uh, you know uh, eighteen bucks. So, well, 17 to $18. So we've already made that today. That should be it to the downside. If we go much below, we're down, see, we're down 16. Yeah, we're down 20. Yeah, we're down exactly $20. So it should hold this level here uh, in the gold. And if it doesn't, then, you know, you're going to be looking at that 1183, 1186 level. But that that long term, if you get a quick break into that after the market's turned, that is usually a good sign that it's the last chance, you know, for the shorts to cover and longs to get in because, uh that would be a very, very low risk in that gold uh, if you get down to that level. So we need to, you know, sort of watch it with a great deal of uh, interest. Anyway, that's what it's looking like. We have several comments, again, about the bonds and notes. Folks, these bonds and notes are going lower. I posted this. This was last. This was uh, the chart from last Friday, and we broken down, uh, you know, below the lows, way down here. We, we took out all the lows of June, July, and August in the notes. Now, we're very oversold, so we could easily get a rally, but that's probably all you're going to get. Watch for a 382 rally in the bonds and notes. It's really telling us that that's the – the way that it probably wants to run. So keep an eye on it. That's uh, that's neither here nor there. So sort of pay attention to it because that looks like it's where it wants to go. If we look at this from the eyes of the uh, um, junk bond market, just put this up so you can see, look at TLRY is at 142. I believe it's got to get to par. It's got to get to 100. Uh, it's got to get to 100 is the ABCD on that, David. But thank you for bringing up. Oh, it's got to 136 already. So uh, that's it. There's the high-grade bonds. I'd like to have your opinion, Steve, whatever you think, because you see these have held up extremely well, whereas bonds and notes have gone into uh, new low ground. And that usually means that people are out you know, trying to find high interest rates, which is usually the wrong thing to do. Be concerned on the amount return of your money not the return on your money. That's the words of uh, Bernard Baruch. So we'll uh, watch that as we uh, go through uh, today looking. But we are I think we're going to see some very, very uh, increased volatility. Well, we've already moved. Uh, see, we moved up 100 and down 50 in the Dow in the first 10 minutes. So we had a 150-point move in 10 minutes in the Dow Jones. So we'll take a look. 877-927-6648. Hey folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. 
I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart of the uh, Christmas corn up here, the December corn, and you'll notice that uh, it missed the buy price that we were looking at by about one and three quarter cents or 75 bucks. And I, um, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, you know, <laughs> you miss a trade here and there. You know, like when you're out there in the pond, you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you find the princess. So you just move on. You know, fortunately, some of them work, some of them don't. But the key of pattern recognition is you're always focusing on how much money you have at risk because you don't know which patterns are going to work and which can't. Steve, I know you're out there. Thank you very much. Steve's on. I wish you could come on. Steve, you call in. If you get a chance, call in and explain this chart about the HYG because I think it makes a it's a beautiful correlated chart and it certainly explains where the money's moving that's for sure so if you get a chance uh, call in if not folks take a look at this he's posted it in the room today and it shows the correlation between the S&P uh, and the high grade uh, HYG the high grade uh, junk bond index so there's a very high correlation there and um, that's where money's moving, so there's no uh, reason not to believe it's not going, you know, to continue that. Uh, getting getting back to the corn for a second, um, if you get a pullback in the corn here, we've had a three-day rally, not very much, but you got a pullback of, a, say, a nickel or so down to that 348 level, your your risk there would still be about six cents, and it's still acting, you know, uh, you know, relatively good from that level. So just sort of, you know, pay attention to it, and I think it would be uh, very interesting. So we'll we'll do one thing at a time. Well, we've got the bonds uh, trading at around 140.10. We got as low as 130, uh, 139 and change the last two days, and we've had a tiny bit of a two-day rally in bonds, and that would be the equivalent of a major dead cat bounce. Uh, boys and girls, so uh, sort of pay attention to that one. That's going to be real interesting to see, you know, what happens, uh, you know, with these bonds and notes because long term they look very, very, very short term. Because we're down four weeks in a row, we could easily, you know, get some type of a of a rally in here uh, to see if it's going to uh, move very, very quickly. Now next Monday we're going to have Adrian Togare as our guest from Trading on Target about the psychologies of the market and I'm going to be doing a webinar for her um, next week. I believe it's the 24th or 25th. I'm not sure. We'll send you out some information so you can uh, you know, take a look at it if you want. I'm going to explain uh, what I think are the best coming trades and also I'm going to go over uh, why I think technical analysis works. I'm going to go over some mathematics of the market and show some examples of how these things fit together, uh, more like a little puzzle here and there. And uh, we're going to put that together, and I think you'll enjoy what she has to say, too, because she does a really good job on the psychology of things that we're, that we're watching. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a quick look here, folks, at this New York Stock Exchange Index, because we actually gapped up yesterday. Just put this up here. You'll see that we gapped up above the, we didn't quite make the 78% level, but we gapped sharply above, believe it or not. I mean, that's a big gap, but we gapped above the 1.27 level at 131. And you'll notice the NASDAQ has still not made new highs. 
we did get up to the 78% level on that one. And, of course, the Russell is lagging behind a little bit, but it's still relatively early to see if uh, some of these things are going to uh, turn or not. We really, you know, we, we really don't know. I want to show you um, what I think. We've got a chance, and I'm not sure it's going to happen or not. But let's just take a look here uh, at the... Um, at the gold here, because this is what I've been hoping for. Uh, you notice here uh, that uh, the last price is around 1195 or 1197, 1198. But if you notice that price there, at roughly 1186, that's a 61% retracement of the uh, of the move that we had from August the 12th. We went up. We we're making an ABCD pattern. If we get there, we're only 12 bucks away. So we're down 20 today. A little bit of a sell sell off on uh, Monday or Tuesday could get us there real easily. So we need to watch that uh, very very closely. And believe me, folks, if we go below 11.67 uh, in the gold market, that is going to be really a nasty uh, a nasty chart pattern. Uh, that would mean we would go below uh, $14 in silver again. And boy, that would negate a whole lot of bullishness uh, from this old cowboy's uh, quiver. But uh, we'll see if that's going to happen or not. But watch that price of 1186 in the gold because it's uh, it's only $10 away. And given $20 today and you know $10 Monday, you could be there without any trouble. But it's got to hold that 11 you know, 1186 with a, you know, anything below 1179 would probably say you're probably wrong on that, but we'll see if that's going to happen. Um, as far as uh, David White had some really interesting things, I believe yesterday. Uh, by the way, David, I posted that chart of the TLRY again, uh, showing you that price level of 100. We got down as low as 136, so it's not very far away. It moved 100 points yesterday, so 30 points in that stock is nothing anymore. This is acting like what we had back in 2000. Um, one of the things that I really would like to show you folks, if I can find it, is in 1997, I believe it was 96 or 97, Mark Cuban, who owns the um, the uh, Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks basketball team, he's also big in politics, might run for president one of these days, he was selling his company to Yahoo, and it was called Broadcast.com, I believe. And that last uh, day of trading, before it was bought out, I happened to be watching it. I was not trading it, but I was watching it just from a technical basis. And if I can find the chart, I know I've kept it. But that stock, believe it or not, moved 600 points in the last day of trading. It was trading for around 140. And the swings that it had during that day was equivalent of 600. 100 points. I mean, it was up 100, down 50, up 100, down 50. I mean, it was really amazing. And I hope I can find it because if you ever thought about whether Fibonacci numbers work or not, and you could saw this thing working, you would really be surprised because uh, when you've got really active markets and a lot of volatility, Mr. Fibonacci is stepping up to the plate because it's all about the psychology of the market. And that DNA and that Fibonacci is built into these markets, so you need to pay, you know, really close uh, attention to it. So that's about it. Uh, you're right, Mr. Z, this is a good spot. Uh, it's better to buy gold $20 lower than $20 higher, so your risk here is really small. Uh, you know, it's right at a very significant level. You know, we've only had uh, two $20 breaks in this thing since August, so this could be a time to uh, take a look at it. I, I would, you know, it's a Friday, so I'm going to wait till Monday to see what happens, but uh, we'll watch to see uh, how the rest of these things uh, move on. We've been up uh, eight of the last nine days in the stock market. Folks, that's an outlier event. If you go back and look how many times that has happened, <laughs> you're, uh, you're out there with a one finger um, you know, that has just hardly ever happened. So we're out in the 95% level of that doesn't happen very often, and that's usually how the things uh, turn around. Um, Marie asked this morning about the relationship between 1986 or excuse me, 1987 and the top we had here. I mean, they are both running really high. But remember, this has been going up for nine years. The one in 87 had only been going up for five years. It went up from August of uh, uh, August 9th of 1982, and we topped in 87. We broke uh, from 87 August uh, 25th into October 20th, and we've been going up ever since. 
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I've been asked by one of our listeners to take a look at whether there's a double top in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, this is the long-term monthly chart. You can see that there is a possibility of that. Now, the the key to this would be uh, the high we had at 26,663. If you figured you closed 200 points below that, 26,400, down about 200, you're going to be, uh, you'd probably be looking at a potential double top, but it's still very early to even consider that. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what's happened. Remember, uh, if you'll look at this chart, you'll see that big low that we made down there at the C point, which was in November of uh, 2016 when we elected a uh, new president. And since that time, you know, we've had one heck of a move. If you look at that move, it equals everything that we did from 1988 you know, to uh, 19 to 2000, that that whole move. I mean, that that happened in two months, so it's had a tremendous run. And this chart actually does not look like the top that we had in 1929. Usually, the tops look a lot different in all of these things. But you know, when the top comes in, it'll certainly tell you that it's going to come in. But uh, we do have a little bit of divergence. The fact that the New York Stock Exchange index and the Russell 
and the uh, NASDAQ have not made new highs. It was just the Dow Jones and the S&P. And remember that Dow Jones is only 30 stocks. And with those big high price banking stocks like Goldman Sachs and um, J.P. Morgan and uh, I think it's uh, Traveler or whatever, uh, there's another one in there. I can't remember which one it is. That uh, of those insurance stocks that they're very high priced, and since it's a uh, it's a not cap weighted, it's price weighted, so that makes a big difference, you know, on the evaluation of it. Someone's asked a question about the Bitcoin. I really think we're getting ready for a major bottom in Bitcoin, somewhere around the uh, uh, four thousand level. Uh, I haven't done a trade in this. I watch it every day just to see what's happening with the market, but we'll see. So have a wonderful weekend. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!